Hello, welcome to Jason the Old Millennial. My name is Jason. I'm speaking to you here in my basement in the great state of Kansas. And today is obviously a very significant day, very important day um, in America. Uh, today is September 11th, 2021, uh, 20th anniversary of the September 11th tax uh, happened in New York, uh, taking down the two World Trade Center buildings. Um, and it just felt like I need to make a video talking about it because it's such a significant day in my life as it is for anybody's life who was around at that time to remember it. Um, and I remember it very well. Um, I was 18. I was a senior in high school. Went to a small high school in um, Kansas called Frederick Remington High School. Um, and I remember getting up that morning, going to school, and at school we had uh, these block scheduled days where we had, um, our colors were blue and silver, so we had blue days and silver days, and it was like blue days are even uh, numbered classes, and silver days were like the odd number classes. Um, but I think the first period was always the same class every day and it was like a 45 minute class and so I had band class every day um, and I, I think the second hour the second uh, period was your home your homeroom class where you each were assigned to homeroom and with other students and that was a time that you could do homework or uh, participate in different activity meetings and whatever was going on that day anyway so I was at band class, first period, I get to school, hadn't heard anything about the tax, um, go down and get my instrument. We went outside because we were doing marching band, it was football season, and uh, we do marching band practice, and you know, going outside, getting in our line formations, and we would uh, go around the parking lot, the high school parking lot, pr practicing our marching and playing and all that, and I just remember being in line. And somebody behind me said, oh, did you hear a plane hit the World Trade Center, one of the towers? And it was like, oh, wow, that's that's bad. In my mind, I remember thinking, and maybe people said this too, and I've heard other comments of people saying this, so I'm not the only one. I think we all thought this. I thought, oh, somebody, uh, you know, a small plane, private-owned plane, must have lost control somewhere in New York City and crashed into the building, you know, and obviously killing themselves and probably killing some other people, but um, still that's not, that's bad, that's, you know, a terrible thing to happen, but that's all I thought probably happened, and so, but still I remember when hearing that news and being a little taken aback and being like, wow, that's a shocker, you know, like it was still some shocking information to go, wow, someone, you know, flew a plane into a building and, you know, wow, that's a terrible thing. Uh, but I had no idea the scope of it, of course, at that point. But I just remember it kind of being in the back of my mind throughout the band class. And we did our, I think, like I said, the first two periods, I think, are maybe 45 minute periods. And then all the other classrooms are like an hour and a half. So I think we we're there and we were done with class and we went to our homeroom class. And that day was picture day. Um, and seniors got to go get their pictures taken first for the yearbook. And so we went to the gym to do our yearbook pictures. And so we went into the hallway, lined up to, you know, see, uh, one by one go into the gym and get your picture taken, then go out the other side and go back to your homeroom, I guess. Anyways, and so I remember getting in line and hearing someone say, a uh, plane hit the second tower and saying, so it wasn't an accident. And I just remember being like, what? not an accident what do you mean like I couldn't compute it my brain could not understand what that meant another plane purposely hit a building like why would a plane purposely run into a building or why would someone do that I, I didn't get that concept and except that now I'm like someone's hitting our buildings with planes like what is going on and um, and then I find out that it's a commercial jet it's like it's a big plane it's not a small plane so I'm like oh my god they ran so there all those people are dead on the plane obviously killing a lot of people in the buildings um, yeah and it was like 
I don't know if we knew exactly it was a terrorist attack. I suppose we probably probably knew that was probably what happened. Um, we knew about Muslim terrorism. We knew about Salman bin Laden. Like I heard about him, but uh, we've never been attacked in that way. So it still was something very odd to me. I didn't think, never thought that would happen. That was not something in my mind that would, you know, we'd have a huge terrorist attack like that. Uh, maybe a bombing of some kind, but obviously, but hitting a plane, a building, that's something else. And I'm, so I'm sure we must must know maybe it was Muslim terrorism, but I remember, um, you know, thinking about it. And then I don't. Someone probably said, you know, something about the first tower fell, and then you're like, it fell? How did it fall? Like I I can't believe it that the airplane hitting the building would make it fall, and you know. Who knows how many people are are dying, and I mean, a huge building falling down. That's, I mean, that's insane. It's just, I just couldn't believe it. Like my, it was hard to believe it. It was hard to understand it. That was my memory of it. It was like, and it was a very scary moment, standing in line, hearing that we were under attack by somebody. And I'm 18. I registered for the draft, of course, when I turned 18. Uh, and so I'm thinking, if we're at war, I could get drafted now, and I might be going into war. Like, I might go fight, you know, which I would gladly fight for my country and all that, but yet, it's not something I necessarily want to do, you know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm enjoying my life as an 18-year-old, uh, finishing high school and having my dreams of going to college and all this, and, but, I don't know, something was very scary about that thought, of like, oh my god, we're at war, I'm gonna get drafted go in the army and we're gonna have this like war this war now I mean I suppose it was all you know quick thinking obviously I didn't know what Zach was going on but obviously all these thoughts just rush into your brain when you hear this kind of information and you don't know what exactly is gonna happen and so you think of all the worst things that are gonna happen and I just remember just we we're just talking about it in line and just being so shocked by this information couldn't understand it and of course got my picture and which is interesting so looking at all of my my picture, all my classmate pictures on my yearbook, that's all of us on 9-11, you know, getting our picture taken, which is interesting. Anyways, and I remember going back to homeroom, which was, uh, I'm thinking the teacher's name, I think is Mrs. Rochenfelter or something like that, um, Rochfield or something like that, uh, and it was like the health class, um, where we had our health class as freshmen, and also uh, she taught um, home ec. Anyways, but I remember I remember getting in the classroom, and the teacher had a TV out, like one of those big square, you know, TVs back then, um, on a cart thing that rolls, you know, that you teachers get and they show you educational films or whatever or a movie or something like that, instead of doing a class or whatever. Anyways, and she got one of those TVs out, and she had it on the news, and I remember coming in watching. First tower is already. Uh, already falling down second tower is smoking and of course smoke coming out of it and it's just total chaos what's going on and I remember watching that second tower fall down and just being flabbergasted just like what is going on like how is this possible like I mean it was it was uh, horrifying um, unbelievable um, yeah it was just an incredible moment in my life watching that all of us watching that go on and seeing that building fall down just kind of going straight down basically and then all that debris and like this huge smoke humongous gray like smoke I, is the only thing I talk about or describe it all of a sudden engulfing everybody and you're like oh my god what is going going on and you can see you can't see anything through the smoke it's so thick I never seen anything like it, and I remember watching people, you know, walk out of that smoke or dust. I guess I should say dust. It's like dust. It's just this big cloud of dust, and just watching people w walk out of this cloud of dust with dust all over them, just covered in dust, like it's snow or something. And you know, some I think were maybe injured, bleeding, walking out. I mean, it was like a post-apocalyptic, you know, movie that you're watching, like can this be real life I can't believe this is real life this is happening right now um, it's just an incredible moment in my life as everybody else I just can't you know 
it's hard to put words to the feelings you had at that time. Uh, and I remember hearing like one plane hit the Pentagon and they're saying like one plane is headed towards the White House. And so it was like, oh my gosh, we're being attacked by planes right now. They're hitting every single major building that we have. You know, this is crazy, you know. Uh, this is definitely like an act of war. We're being attacked right now. You know, something I never thought I'd see and something, yeah. And I just remember watching that video and then the bell ringing, we go to our next class. Uh, that teacher has a TV on and we just sit down and we watch the news. And that's all we did the whole, the whole day at school. Like everything else seemed insignificant compared to what was going on in front of our eyes. Math class, history class, science class, just all insignificant to us. We didn't care about any of that. We didn't do any schoolwork. We just sat and watched in silence almost watching this go on, the reporters talking, uh, getting news information, you know, uh, who did this. Um, and it didn't take long before we found out it was Osama Bin Laden, of course, and he's been talking about doing something like this for a while. Uh, so it was pretty easy to figure out who did it, and we knew pretty quickly it was Muslim terrorists that did this. Um, you know, and then, yeah, so I just remember that being surreal day in class where each time the bell rang you just went to another class and watched more news well, there's nothing else to do but to watch the news that day um, almost feel like why even have school or why even go to a different class just stay in class and just watch but the bell rang and you go to your next class uh, very strange very strange day um, and it's hard to really like I said my, my main motion is like scary it was kind of scary uh, sit there and watch that happen and, and you know don't know what's going to happen you know something scary about not knowing what's going to happen next and what kind of tax is going to happen next and all that and I just remember going back home of course and uh, all we did was watch the news the rest of the day and I feel like for months all I did was go home and watch news and see what was going on next what was going on well how did this happen who you know talking about the hijackers timeline um, about trying to clean up and trying to find bodies in this re in this rubble um, what a mess it was in New York I mean so much destruction um, and I think 3,000 lives lost I mean just innocent lives didn't have to be lost it's so sad um, besides the, the airplane people I mean so many lives lost for no reason and uh, yeah I just remember so much just not caring about anything but what happened and of course obviously very sad you get really sad watching it um, then you get mad inevitably you get very angry and whoever did this should pay for it and of course I remember watching George W. Bush who's president you know give speeches you know about what happened and about the evil act that it was he called it evil and that you know we were make demands. We need you know, that Afghanistan needs Taliban needs to go away. Need to um, get rid of all terrorists and all any country that holds terrorists is an is a enemy country. All countries need to get rid of terrorists. Need to get rid of these terrorist um, training grounds. Um, you know, and I remember watching that, watching the inaugural address. We talked about it. You know, these attacks. I mean, it's something we talked about. I'm sure for at least a year, if not more. I mean. It seemed like that was all we talked about was 9-11 for a long time. I mean, that's how big a deal it was. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, it didn't seem like anything mattered. Sports didn't matter, movies, TV, whatever else I was doing in my life didn't matter. It was just what was going on and how are we going to get back at the people that did this to us and stop them from ever doing it again. That was the main focus. Um, Anyways, and it's been like that for now 20 years. Every year, 9/11 on 9/11. Of course, I always have to look back at that day, and, rem and I remember it so vividly. And I go through everything in my brain, remember all those moments, um, thinking about the people, uh, what happened to them, and you know, obviously, and just so crazy now. Thinking 20 years later, we're looking back. It's been 20 years. I'm now went from 18 year old kid uh, to now a 38 year old, almost middle aged man, 
just looking back on all that and I just can't believe it's been 20 years already and uh, two words I think about the most when I think about 9-11 every year is the two words never forget um, I remember always hearing that I think I don't know if they still talk about as much now as they did back then it seems like every year when we talk about 9-11 I've heard those words never forget and to me they're really big words when I think about 9-11 uh, the words never forget, I mean, two words that you can use for a lot of things probably in history. I think of the Holocaust with the Jews, um, you know, during World War II. Uh, that's definitely a thing to say, never forget. Never forget that happened. Um, I think of uh, Pearl Harbor um, when we got, that was the fir first major like attack on the United States. Um, and we made us go to World War II. And that was a day when we got attacked that we said, never forget that day. Um, obviously, now I think that happened December 7, 1941. And when that happens, I mean, every year when that comes around, I, I think about Pearl Harbor a little bit, but probably not as much because it was way before my time. Um, I definitely, I think it's a day sh we shouldn't forget. It's a significant day. Um, but for me, never forget, I think about 9-11, of course, because that happened in my lifetime. Something that's very vivid, something I think about a lot. Um, a huge moment in my life, as anybody else. Um, I think that I think of those words. I never forget what happened that day. Um, I can't forget it, For first of all. It's just etched in my, in my brain. It's who I am. You know, It's a mark in my life, as anybody else's life. I think of my life as 18 years before, 9-11 and the 20 years after. I mean, that's why I think about my life is I remember before 9-11, I remember after 9-11, you know, how everything changed. And I work, especially this last summer, I've been working with a lot of uh, high school and college age kids that have come during the summer working at the nursing home. And, um, and of course they were born long after 9-11 happened. They're 17, 18, 19 year olds um, I'm working with. And coming up to the 20th anniversary, I just kind of had this interesting questioning them, you know, what do you think about 9-11? Like, when did you find out about it? Because it must be much different when you didn't experience it and you're just hearing about it from other people or learning about it in school, you know? And so it was kind of interesting to hear their perspective that, yeah, they didn't, they kind of heard about it. They didn't really get the scope or the significance of it until maybe later in high school. Maybe they got a little more interested in it and watching documentaries on it and kind of understood the significance, but never can never could totally understand the significance of it because they didn't have those feelings I had on that day. And that's a big deal of it, um, those feelings that come to you every year when it happens, um, 9-11. And so I've kind of talked to each one and told them, well, this is what happened. This is my experience. And I tell them exactly what I'm saying here. I remember detailing, you know, my day at school and how it was afterwards, and I tried to explain to them all the feelings of emotions I had inside of me, to try to do the best I can to make them understand what it was like when that happened, because uh, I don't want them to forget it. Uh, they could forget it because it didn't happen to them. I can't because I, I can't. It's just too big of a moment. That's always going to be with me. Uh, but the younger people, you know, they can forget because, yeah, they don't have those emotions attached to the event. And so I think for me, one of my goals in life is to always talk about 9-11 as much, especially around 9-11, talk about it to people that weren't there because I don't want them to forget that that happened uh, and what, what it did to our country. And don't forget who did it to us. I think that's always a significant thing because uh, they're still there. Taliban are still there, and uh, they probably don't forget either. And so and the reason to not forget, um, I, I went to college and got a degree in teaching history. Um, I love history. Uh, I love reading history. Uh, I love watching documentaries and all this on history. And one of the big uh, quotes you get from history and historians is that if you don't study history, you're doomed to repeat it. That's the big line. Especially, it's like, why do you read history? And that's the big line you say. Because if you don't, you're doomed to repeat it. And I totally believe strongly in those words. Um, 
that they are true. That if you don't study history, you don't study what mistakes you make in the past, what tragedies happened in the past, then you won't be prepared to stop it the next time. Uh, you won't be ready, you won't see the, the red flags, the warning lights of something happening again. And if we don't, we'll have another 9-11, just as bad or worse, if we don't, if we forget what happened that day. And so that's why I say, just never forget, and I, I will never forget what happened to us 20 years ago.